Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Tiết mục hôm nay sẽ được trình chiếu bằng tiếng Anh, Trung Hoa và Âu Lạc, còn được biết là tiếng Việt với phụ đề tiếng Ả Rập, Âu Lạc, Ungari, Trung Hoa, Croatia, Séc, Anh, Pháp, Đức, Hindu, Hungary, Indonesia, Ý, Nhật Bản, Đại Hàn, Malay, Mông Cổ, Ba Tư, Ba Lan, Bồ Đào Nha, Punjab, Romania. Nga, Tây Ban Nha và Thái Quý khán giả từ tâm xin gửi đến quý vị lời chào nồng ấm Tôi tên là Thanh Vân đến từ thành phố Đà Lạt đẹp như tranh quốc gia Âu Lạc còn được biết là Việt Nam Chúng tôi cầu chúc cuộc sống quý vị đông đầy tình thương và bình an Hôm nay chúng tôi xin chia sẻ với quý vị phần 2 cũng là phần cuối của chương trình tự đề phải tập trung vào phía khẳng định. Thêm nhiều ngôn ngữ khác hiện có trên trang trực tuyến để xem ngôn ngữ của quý vị, xin vui lòng truy cập www.suprememastertv.com gạch chéo subtitles. Trong hơn ba thập niên, Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư đã soi sáng thế giới của chúng ta bằng giáo lý thiên liêng của Ngài. Là Minh Sư Toàn Giác, Ngài truyền đạt pháp môn quán âm đến những ai khao khát tức khắc tìm lại Thượng Đế Tánh bên trong để đạt được sự giải thoát tỉnh hằng trong kiếp này khỏi vòng sinh tử luân hồi. Pháp môn quán âm đã được tu tập bởi tất cả các vị Minh Sư như Đức Phật, Chúa giê nhà tiên tri Mohammed hòa bình đến với ngài và đạo sư Na Nát. Ngài đã nhấn mạnh nếu chúng ta luôn tự nhớ tới thượng đế phục vụ tha nhân một cách vô ngã và tuân theo luật vũ trụ, chúng ta sẽ đạt được tiềm năng tối thượng của con người và thật sự hiểu được mục đích của chúng ta trên địa cầu này. Thanh Hải vô thượng sư là một tấm gương sống phi thường về lòng từ bi, thường xuyên gửi vật phẩm và tài chính hỗ trợ, cũng như tình thương cho những người tị nạn, vô gia cư, nạn nhân thiên tai và những người cần được cứu trợ khác. Vào năm 2006, Ngài đã nhận giải Gucci Hòa Bình, được xem như giải Nobel Hòa Bình của phương Đông, đồng thời được vinh danh suốt nhiều năm với vô số giải thưởng và các lễ phong tặng khác vì hoạt động nhân đạo và thiện nguyện tuyệt vời của Ngài. Là tiếng nói chân thành cho các bạn thú xinh đẹp, Ngài khuyến khích lối dinh dưỡng thần thực vật, hòa bình và bác ái, và hiện thực hóa tiễn cảnh nhân loại thức tỉnh nhận ra sự quý giá của mọi sinh mạng về một thế giới thuần chay, bình yên và vinh quang, nơi mà các bạn thú và con người sống trong hạnh phúc hòa hợp những sáng kiến của ngài nhằm lan tỏa xu hướng thần chay rất đa dạng bao gồm phân phát tờ rơi lối sống mới chủ nhà hàng thần chay quốc tế loving hut truyền hình vô thượng sư đồng thời trao đổi thường xuyên với chính phủ có tầm ảnh hưởng và nhà lãnh đạo truyền thông cũng như tham gia các buổi hội thảo truyền hình về nhận thức đối với biến đổi khí hậu Những nỗ lực của Ngài đã tạo ra ảnh hưởng to lớn tới nhận thức toàn cầu về lối sống thân thiện với các bạn thú và làm sao lối sống từ ái này có thể mang đến hòa bình vĩnh viễn giữa các dân tộc, đồng thời cứu địa cầu khỏi nạn biến đổi khí hậu. Qua nhiều năm, Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư đã du hành khắp thế giới, từ châu Mỹ đến châu Phi, từ châu Âu đến châu Đại Dương, 
và đã tổ chức hàng trăm buổi thuyết giảng trước công chúng và môn sinh về nhiều chủ đề tâm linh. Hôm nay, chúng tôi hân hạnh trình bày một trong những bài thuyết giảng sâu sắc với tự đề phải tập trung vào phía khẳng định phần 2 của hai phần trên giữa thầy và trò được giảng bằng tiếng Anh, tiếng Trung và tiếng Âu Lạc vào ngày 6 và 7 tháng 8 năm 2013 tại Pháp. When association members convene from around the world, Supreme Master Ching Hai occasionally meets with groups of different nationalities. In a session during this international gathering in France, Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke with our Indonesian Association members. She's like a kid, still bringing me this bread. <laughs> a lovely, lovely woman. Yeah. She still loves me so much. Still want to hug kids all the time. <laughs> I've grown out of it, but she hasn't. She's very, very good woman. Very, very, very pure. Ah, uh, you guys share, okay? Like, uh, like this, huh? Mm huh? -hmm. And you use this maybe to to hold it, huh? Carry one each, share with each other. Yeah. Okay. You have it all. How come you don't give it to this guy? You keep giving to the woman. <laughs> Do you have any special Indonesian question for Indonesian? Yeah? Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Yes, good news. Oh, wonderful. Tell me. Good news. Lovely. Yeah. This year, our government already told all the smoking company they are not allowed to advertise anymore. Uh -huh. Either in television, newspaper, wow. billboard, anything. Bravo. Wow. Uh, good government. They will start next year. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Next year. Very good. Bravo. Yeah. Very good. Clever. Yeah. Clever government. Yeah, thank you. I don't know how you have clever government when you're not so clever. <laughs> <laughs> poor government. <laughs> Everybody everywhere say, oh, poor people, bad government. I say, poor government. <laughs> Have to put up with you guys. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. You're the best, no? You're the best citizen they can have, no? Yeah. Yeah. If you follow and adhere to my teaching, huh? you were the best citizen. You don't steal, you don't tell lies, no? you, mm -hmm. you don't harm anybody, huh? Mm -hmm. you don't smoke, you don't drink, yeah? and uh, you're faithful to one another, yeah? And you're a good citizen for your country as well, yeah? yeah. If you're a Muslim, you're a better Muslim now, better one, yeah? Maybe you don't pray five times a day, every time, half an hour, but you pray five times all at once. <laughs> yeah, two and a half hours. Yeah. That's supposed to be divided into five times. Because, you know, in the old time you have to work also, né? now. Yeah. And also you cannot gather together uh, too long, you know. Yeah. At that time, the people harass the Muslim mm -hmm. and the Prophet. Mm -hmm. So just quick, quick, go look at him. Yeah, maybe stay together for a while and then go. So five times is like that. Né? Mm -hmm. Is the a very majority Muslim country? Yes. Yes. It's a very good Muslim country, huh? Yeah. In Jakarta, Master, uh, the biggest mosque and the biggest church is next to one yeah, uh, next to each other. Yeah. Holding hands. Yeah. 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 Uh, neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Neighbors. Love thy neighbors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good. You know, because uh, Muslim are like that. You know, and like Malaysian, also Muslim country. 
the government are not aggressive. Yeah? Very, very nicely Muslim. And they really take care of the citizens. Huh? I saw the government build houses, apartments, building for people who don't have house. Mm-hmm. can go there, you know, to, to stay and pay cheap rent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a very nice Muslim country, supposed to be like that. Mm-hmm. And I could even go there and preach. At that time, I was even wearing Buddhist monk robe, and nobody said anything. You know, the government in Malaysia, very open. Yes, very nice. Muslim is like your country. Yeah, like Malaysian. Yeah, and like many some other Muslim country who who don't do any trouble, who don't make any trouble to anybody. They're very friendly, helpful, hmm? and hospital. I like Muslim people very much. Yeah. Very disciplined. Yeah. Humble and disciplined, yeah. So I don't know how how they can have some Muslim who are so, you know, frightening everybody. Yes. Because if if I want to be Muslim, for example, eh, I would be uh, scared. But some of the Muslim go out. They say they're Muslim, but I'm not sure if they are, you know. Sometimes maybe they're not Muslim. They just use a Muslim name to do that. You see what I mean? Yes, because Muslim don't don't teach people violence. The Prophet say don't kill anyone. Yeah? Even if they kill you, you don't kill them. It's it's like that. If you extend my your hand to kill me, I will not extend to kill you. So your country even though um, also have a lot of Muslim government Inside, right? Government uh, officials, but they they do well. Hmm? Good thing. I'm glad for you. That's why your country is prospering. Uh, the fastest growing economy in Southeast Asia, right? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. In uh, How many can can boast like that? Ne? The largest growing economy, fastest economy. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Is it Southeast Asia? Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia. Wow, it's very big, huh? Mm. Fastest growing. Mm. And your country is just dotted, dotted here and there. It's difficult to, <laughs> difficult to control and still growing very, very good. I wonder, huh? Mm. I have some Indonesian furniture and all that before, you know. They are very, very uh, welcome everywhere. Mm. I saw many Hollanders. They imported your furniture. Yeah. Uh, so in Germany, they imported yeah. your furniture. Uh, and in Spain also, I saw some. Yeah, I I also had some before. Very special, ne? Specially carved and nice, nicely made, very exquisite, beautiful. Mm. All kind of furniture and decoration, uh, Indonesian. I like very much. And your people are very very diligent and artistic. Mm. I love it. Uh, God bless you guys so much. <laughs> Yeah, and your country are lucky to have people like you. Last last group was bigger. This uh, this Indonesian group yeah. was smaller. Yeah. How come? It's it's getting the smaller. Last, huh? The last group. <laughs> they left, yes. Yeah. 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 Sometimes come more, sometimes come less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Last time I also see special Indonesian, yeah, one group. Yeah. You were not there, right? No. No, okay. Last, last group was uh, 50-something people. Yeah, yeah. I think more. I don't know. It's a lot. But they came before that, some also. Yeah. Yes. And after that, also some. I don't always uh, have time to see special group, okay? <laughs> so tell the one that I haven't seen, who was here. I have seen them also generally, but not special like this. I'll tell them I apologize, okay? Yes, yes. It's not easy to, for me to arrange everything, especially uh, now in this situation. Okay, time has changed a little bit. So tell them I am sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Tell them you have seen them for me, for them. You have seen me for them, <laughs> <laughs> and I have seen you for them. Yeah. So we both seen for them. <laughs> You know, complain, yeah? Mm. Any special question? Uh, tell me something about your country. Any? 
I think, yeah, tell me. Yeah. No, let the boy say first. Yeah. Uh, in speaking about Islam and uh, vegetarian, mm-hmm. uh, we noticed recently there are some Islamic uh, boarding school mm-hmm. who start to adopt vegetarian in their school. Oh, really? Yeah. How nice! <laughs> oh. Uh, previously, they are very uh, you know, strict, but now they're. Vegetarian now? Yeah, they adopt vegetarian in the school. Yeah. Normally, one school is. Uh, wow. I wonder why. Wow. How enlightened. How nice to hear. I am so I am so elated. Yes. Yes. Yeah, actually in the hadith they say you should respect all beings, you know? Yeah. Allah only have mercy on those who have mercy on others. Yes. That's including animals, yeah. When the Prophet Muhammad Mohammed was alive, uh, peace be upon him. He was even helping the ram. He loves him. He loves all beings. So how can he tell anybody to kill even his own fellow human? No? Yeah. And no God. Allah is mean God. Yeah? No God, no Allah ever would want anyone to kill his own creation. You know? What for he kill you if he created you? No? Yeah. Always love one another. So... It's a misinterpretation when the prophet was alive. A lot of people want to kill him, you know, the government then and the, uh, the religious fanatic at that time, they want to kill him because he's too famous and too, lo- too loved by everybody at that time, by many, yeah, by a lot of people. So they're jealous too, no? Yeah. And also they don't understand, no? Also they're scared, no? And the government yeah. also, and of course they... They use the government or they, they do it themselves, try to kill the prophet and uh, his uh, followers. But he would never say, oh, you go out and kill everybody who don't believe me. No, he, he didn't ever say that. Yes. Yeah, or you go out and kill anybody at all. There's a woman and children who has nothing to do with Islam or any religion. Mm. So how, how can we convert anybody into Islam if we don't follow correctly the teaching of the prophet. Eh? So I think who want, who kills people, innocent people, just blowing up in the market or in school or hotel and all that, they're not Islam. They're not Muslim. They just pretend to be Muslim. Just use it. Just use one sentence, misinterpret sentence in the Quran just to kill. You know, justify for their their own maybe misunderstand maybe misled by others who don't understand or who are not Muslim. You see what I mean? Otherwise, my God, what kind of God who who tell you go out and kill everyone who don't believe or just kill anybody, even killing each other in the same faith of Muslim, but Shia or Sunni, for example, both are Muslim. Just different sects, that's all. Different, you know, just like Christian, we have Evangelists, we have Protestant, for example. They're all Christian. Yeah, Buddhists also have Theravada, yeah, and Maha, Maha, Mahayana, yeah, or Hinayana, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Okay, you believe what you believe, I believe what I believe. So, my belief that these people, they are not Muslim. Understand? They just make use of Muslim. Or they have been misled terribly, yeah, by somebody who use them for that person's purpose, né? low motive or power, greed or something. I don't believe the most real Muslim people would any, ever want to kill anybody. You understand? Yeah. I don't believe this. Because the Muslim people I know, very kind, very generous, very hospitable, very friendly, very helpful. Yes. They would give anything to you if you need. Yes. Especially in Ramadan, they, they uh, remind each other to give, 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 yeah? yeah? Yeah. How would they give anything for anybody, not just for the Islam people? So, how would they go out and kill anybody? Yes. So, the Muslim I know, the people who are Muslim I know, very nice, very peaceful, very good, and they always wish you peace. Eh? Salam. Malikum, no? Yeah, like that. Malikum salam. Salam, malikum, and malikum salam. Yeah. That means peace always be with you. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. You wish peace upon everyone. 
Yeah, the Muslim I know, they always greet you with peace upon you. And they know I'm not Muslim. So they still wish peace upon me. They don't say peace on you if you are Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> or they don't just go out to greet the Muslim peace, but they ignore everybody else like me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I am the one who also believe in Islam very much. I believe in the prophet, even though I'm not officially Muslim. Yes. If, if God tell me to kill his children, I would not believe in that God. If any God tell me, okay, go to kill anyone who don't believe in me, then I will bring you to heaven. I say, then you keep your heaven. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Understand? Yeah. If I have to kill somebody to go to heaven, then I won't go to heaven. But I don't think any God would tell you anybody to kill anybody else, right? Yeah, He creates people out of love. Eh? He wants people to be happy, prosperous, yeah? And uh, believe in God or not believe in God, they give you free will. Hmm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you believe in God and you have seen God, you believe God, then good for you. If not, God would not tell anyone to go kill them. Why? <laughs> yeah? He's just like uh, one, that one of the terrorists who got jailed by government, he interviewed by the TV. Uh, he also said that uh, he has been brainwashed. Yeah. Brainwashed to kill. Misled. And he's yes. Led. And he's very sorry. He's crying on the TV. Oh, and he said, good. Please uh, do not. Uh, do not follow me, do not follow this. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm so sorry. So he is good. Yeah. Well, how did he awaken to that? Uh, I, uh, I don't know, because uh, it's just that he is interviewed and that he said that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I hope the government and the people forgive him and let him go out and preach the, preach the, um, the policy of peace to mm-hmm. other Muslims. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not uh, being killed or death sentence just uh, for a certain period. How long? Uh, I don't know. Mister. No, you don't know why. Maybe Anybody know? Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years minimum. Oh, That's yeah. Minimum. Okay. At least they don't kill him. But, uh, but for his his repentance, he should be okay. Maybe not be so free, you yeah. know. But uh, go out with the police on anything, <laughs> and go preach the the words. But of of peace, yeah? Yeah. For other Muslim to, to to follow. Better than kill him or jail him. Yeah? Because yes. jail him is to shut his mouth already. If he's really sorry he, he would be a good uh, instrument for peace. Yeah? But how does he, he, he feel sorry, huh? How does he know about this? Now, something awakened him. Yeah, maybe something while he is in jail. Uh huh. Maybe someone told him. <laughs> T- told him about what? About God. Uh-huh. About <laughs> the true uh, way. Yeah. Whoever misled these people, they're not Muslim. Yeah. Okay? Yes. I saw sometimes on TV or maybe they just uh, use some kids, you know? So some young people. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe sometimes his family in trouble and then they're helping him financially. Yeah. And then they, that person feel indebted to the help, and later just does anything they want. And when he realizes, but it's too late, yeah. too late. Uh, Master, hmm? have you ever heard about Malala, uh, the top girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. She's very brave. Yeah, very brave. Yeah. Yeah. She's been shot when, while she went or want to go to school. Yeah. But uh, she's alive and uh, brought to England. Mm. And she's okay now. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, I think a few months ago, maybe in April or May, he, uh, she had a speech in the United Nations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the speech amazed all uh, the, people, the people there. Everybody uh, so yeah. amazed by her. So young and so, so young, courageous so and so eloquent. <laughs> and so bright. Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that if you want to be heard, you, you don't need God. Yeah. Or, uh, just yeah. use your pen. Yeah, yeah. Pen is more powerful mm-hmm. than any other gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that speech myself. Yeah, yeah I watch TV sometimes. Yeah. Just happened to see it. Yeah. Very brave, no? Very brave, not afraid. Yeah. And later, even one of the, I don't know, fighting group leader even wrote to her and said the reason they shot her because she 
Bismia, his group or something like that. Why bother, huh? Uh, many people are misled, yes, to do what they don't, they normally would not do, and just become a sacrifice for for somebody else. But they don't even know. Sometimes they don't even know how to to control it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they just push into that situation, and then they just had to do it. Most of most people are like that. Only some, you know, on the top, you know, are, are telling them what to do. Brainwashed is for sure. Brainwashed, misled, yeah. For some individuals who like power, who want to revenge, or who whatever, yeah, power, yeah. Some even maybe sadistic, you know, like to hurt other people to feel good, yeah. Mm-hmm to terrorize others to feel powerful. But I always think terrorizing people or oppressing people or coercing people is a sign of weakness. Yeah, Yeah, you just have to use gun to force people to do things for you. You (laughs) means you're helpless, (laughs) you're weak, yes? Or maybe uh, you are not uh, powerful enough, you have to use gun. You have gun. You are a big man. You have a big, a lot of gun men behind and in front and behind, and left and right of you. And you kill that little girl, teenager. Doesn't even know much. Most teenagers they don't know much about left and right and thing. They just, you know, they just uh, go happy and do makeup and interest in boys and you see what I mean? Teenager. How can that be? How can that be Muslim? Huh? Muslim is the religion of forgiveness. That's what it says in the Quran. You forgive everyone so that Allah will forgive you. You love your enemy too. That's why it says in the Quran. So I don't think anybody who kill like that, or who tell people to kill, I mean, on purpose, they are not Muslim at all. And then those who are victimized of this brainwashing, I feel very sorry for them. Because they know, I know, many of them are forced to do it. I feel sorry for them. Because in their heart they are not uh, cruel and wicked like that. They are just forced to do it by circumstances, more brainwashed. Understand? In any way, yes. I just blame the, those some some on the top, okay, for their for their bad intention. Yes, Bali, one Bali, and there's two hundred two, yeah. People yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, and all these two hundred people, they have never done the Muslim anything, huh? Mm. Yeah. Never. They don't even know. Yeah. They don't even do anything. Mm. These two hundred people, you tell me, all of them are really all on that place at the same time, and they all listed under a Muslim enemy. Mm. All these two hundred people just accidentally just all together in there. Yeah. In the blacklist of the Muslim, they have done this, they have done that to the Muslim, they have done bad things, or maybe they cooperate with Americans or whatever. All of them, all together, 200. Huh? What is it? Legion. Uh, and Legion. And Kuta. Kuta and Legion in Bali. The cafe. Coffee shop? Coffee shop. Yeah. Coffee shop. Paddy. Paddy's cafe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Most of them are Australian. Yeah, yeah. most of them are Australian. Australia. 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 Oh. Uh, Australian, did they ever offend the Muslim? <laughs> I hardly hear anything. Yeah, Yeah, but there are also uh, Balin people there, you know? Yeah. The one who serve coffee? The locals, the Balinese. The locals also? Yeah. How many of them are bo- locals? I don't know the numbers, but quite, quite, quite a lot. In front of Dunkin Donuts, yeah. demonstration oh. like that. Yeah. In front of the, because it's from America. Yes. Why? Why do they demonstrate that? Uh, I don't know the the reason. What the reason? They must have written when they demonstrate. They always write yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, 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 they don't like They don't like yeah, American products. They oh. don't like everything. Uh, it means Americans or. Why? Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah, the, the being, uh, this is opposite with Muslim, American opposite with Muslim. Oh, 
so you cannot drink American coffee. <laughs> okay, but you cannot kill people. Huh? Demonstrate and kill are different things. The Indonesia also have uh, import export uh, agreement with Americans. Yeah, both have profit from each other. Americans sell things to Indonesia. Indonesia exchange things to Americans. It go both way. It can't just be like that. So if the American don't demonstrate outside of your furniture store, saying <laughs> down with the Indonesian furniture, then you should not uh, down with the Dunkin' Dough Donut, whatever that is. <laughs> I am not fond of donuts uh, made in anywhere because they have the eggs. But but that's not mean that I, I say, okay, go and <laughs> demonstrate, tell them to go home. And okay, demonstrate, okay, it's a free world, you you against anybody you want, as long as you have some little reason somewhere, fine. But it has to be logical, and it cannot be like murdering people. Yeah? Demonstrating and murdering are a different story altogether. And there are Bali people there, Indonesian people work there as well, not just Australian. Understand me? Yeah? yeah. And it just happened that the Australian went that day there, right? It's not always the Australian were there. It could be anybody because it's a coffee shop. See what I mean? It cannot be that they calculate, well, okay, suppose they hate the Australian. cannot be that they know, okay, that day will be a hundred uh, Australian go there and we go bomb them. cannot be. cannot be so exact if, if they are just a tourist. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. They come and go, come and go. Yeah. Other people come and go. I was in Bali also. If I were there, probably I'd drink a coffee and probably I'd die too. I have nothing to do with Australian, American, nothing. I, I don't side with anybody. I always tell the truth only, any side. Yeah? Okay. Just like that. To the backlist, Indonesia uh, specialist in Bali. Uh, many people work in Bali to have, to have income. Yes, of course. Why the blacklist no income? Who blacklist? Yeah. Bali. Yeah. Uh, like Australia. One who has citizen killed there, of yeah. course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. The citizen to see yes. Bali, to come if, to Bali. Yeah, even if it's not blacklist, they're scared to come. Yeah. yeah. After that, just to go and drink coffee, and you may lose your life. Who would like to go? You see what I mean? At least many, many years later, people might forget or the people who didn't read the news maybe, you know, or younger generation later forget the incident, then maybe they come back like before. But at least for a while, eh, for that, for a period, there would be less work for the native. So I don't know what good is that. Good for nobody. Killing not for good for nobody. It's always the same. Only, only some, you know, People stay in very upper level and then brainwashing more people down there, make them do things. Yeah, it's not the person who does it. This is the most important. It's the person who told them to do it. Mostly they are just told what to do and they've been forced into it or brainwashed into it and they didn't know much difference before. Some people are very innocent at heart, you know, and if you are kind of try to be good to them or pretend to be good to them, and then they believe you. And then be, they do what you want later on, and when, even though in their heart they don't want it, and later or maybe too late, and if you want to get out, they kill you, or they force you. Yeah? That's it. If they don't go, they die also. No choice. You wanted to say something? I'd like to ask a question about Indonesia. And speaking of Indonesia, how is the spiritual consciousness level of Indonesia country? I did tell you, no? I had a list, no? Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm. I told you already. Yeah. <laughs> if you tell me now, I have to sit and meditate and check it again. I don't, I don't want to do it. Okay? <laughs> so many things to do. Whatever done already, don't ask again. Yeah. Oh, Master, mm. nowadays, uh, many Buddhist schools, uh, like uh, the name of Chu Chi, you know Chu Chi, yeah. yeah. They um, make meal food uh, vegetarian, vegetarian, all mm. vegetarian. Yes, yes. It's very good. From so. kindergarten little, they yeah, yeah, yeah. serve vegetarian. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Uh, nowadays, very very fast in Indonesia. The also, they grow up. vegetarian <coughs> restaurant. Yes, very, <coughs> very good. good. Bravo! I like that. 
Yes. <laughs> Maybe if you have time, you come to visit the <laughs> if you have time. Yes. One time, I like your country very much. Uh, one time I went to your country. I, I like your country very much and I like your people very much because I am not there often and you're still growing very strong. But there's one time I went there and there was a presidential election. Even though far away from where I was in Surabaya? Yeah, 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 I have nothing to do in the capital, or no political party, nothing. But I love your people very much. That's why I feel so good because even though I wasn't there, but I feel good with you. You were always uh, growing and strong mm -hmm. in practice and progress. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, yes. Maybe in future something change, some, some, some very big change that uh, make your country has more uh, heavenly uh, merit, then maybe I will be able to come yes. to visit you. Your yeah, country, um, maybe, yeah? yeah. yeah. We, it, we need that big change. <laughs> Every country has to earn some merit in order to have a master to come visit or not. Yes, even, even though if when the master come, then cannot do anything much anyway, if you don't have enough merit, yes. Maybe in the future. <laughs> because now, in the in Jakarta, we have good local government. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, local government. Jokowi, governor. Governor, yes. I'm not yes. talking about Jakarta alone. Yes. Your whole country, eh? Yeah. Because president is for the whole country, not president of Jakarta. Yeah. <laughs> so this uh, collective karma, eh? Yes. Sometimes. It happened like that. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's why I, I love your country, your people so much, because even though I could not come, <laughs> you're still growing well. Is it related uh, to the Muslim? After they celebrate, after 40 days later, they have a tradition to sacrifice uh, animal. Yeah. Cow or uh, lamb. Lamb. Sheep. Is that relation to the pet karma? No, it's in not religion. Indonesia? No. Of course it's bad. Any kill animal are bad for any country. The more animal kill in any country, the worse that's for that country. Maybe not immediately, but later on. You see, the bad karma will never go away. <laughs> will never go away. It will come back later or, or now. That's it. Okay, depends what time, you know, sometimes. Like, for example, uh, they kill the animals so much, but in the past life they had good merit. Mm -hmm. So that's why their bad karma is not immediately on them. Mm -hmm. Or anything they do bad and the karma not immediately on them because they have some store, little store of merit for la past life, that's all. Sooner or later. If not this life, the next life, or after death, you know, no one kill anyone and then get free. You have to suffer the way that animals suffer, even if you are a practitioner. Mm -hmm. Suppose I already teach you not to kill, yeah? But then you kill. Mm -hmm. Then you still have to pay that bad karma, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. At the initiation, I have to clean the karma of the past, meaning just separate it from you. Hmm? But if you kill new, then you have to suffer, huh? Okay? Even the master can suffer a little for you, but not the whole thing, because that's not fair for the karma. Hmm? The animals will not claim responsibility with me, but with you. See what I mean? And as a master, maybe I can take some suffering, but not the whole thing, okay? You have to suffer the way the animals suffer so that you learn the lesson of love, of compassion, of treating others the way you want to be treated. There's no failing system in the karmic network. Nobody get away with it. Even I will not get away. If I kill or if I do something wrong, I will pay for it. That is like that. No exception. 
not because I'm master and then I do this, do that, and I get free. No, it's not. It's not, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm, I will not lose my status, but I have to pay physically for what I did or have done to anybody or any being, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even any little animals and insects, anything, you have to pay just very little. And a big animal, you pay more, okay? Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i faith, regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i writings on some aspects of health and healing. Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra. Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat. Because of the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters, and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves, which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Siti Garba Sutra. Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying or creating evil karma by worshiping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious, thus delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Ksiti Garba Sutra Cow die. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. If ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adi Lila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu Islam Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith Jainism A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga Judaism And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible Blood meaning flesh Sikhism Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib Taoism Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the quiet way. Tibetan Buddhism The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants, I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow, Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good 
for our health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great compassionate loving self nature and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. Let's go, huh? Thank you, Master. Oh, you're welcome. Just because we don't have much time. You're a lot for the time. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any more questions before I go? Are you okay? Okay, lah. Okay, lah. Thank you. You keep it, keep it together. I'll bring it back to the Indonesian. Okay? Give to my friend. The one. Yeah. The one who cannot come. Yeah, yeah. Take this to the Indonesian. Uh, share it. Share it everywhere. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my Quý khán giả thân ái, quý vị vừa xem xong, phải tập trung vào ký khẳng định phần 2 của hai phần trên giữa thầy và trò. Tiếp theo là trích kinh tam tạng Phật giáo, kinh sợ hãi và khiếp đảm trong lời thánh khải. Xin vui lòng giữ làn sóng truyền hình vô thượng sư, cầu xin đấng tạo hóa đang trải hồng ân vào cuộc sống của quý vị. Để biết thêm chi tiết. Xin vui lòng truy cập www.suprememastertv.com gạch chéo bờ mờ giờ 